What if, in the next attack, Russia uses AI-based Iskander-M missiles that can learn from every interception attempt and are specifically designed to hunt and destroy Patriot systems in Ukraine? Could Ukraine's air defense capabilities collapse in the coming weeks? The Russian Iskander-M missile strikes in Ukraine have become a focal point in the ongoing conflict, with recent reports from May and June 2025 highlighting the devastating impact and the missile's ability to evade detection. This tactical ballistic missile system, which has been extensively utilized since February 2022, is renowned for its precision, speed, and maneuverability, making it exceedingly difficult for Ukrainian air defense systems to intercept. The ramp-up in production of the 9K720 missile in early 2023 has expanded its availability for the Russian military, enabling more frequent and widespread attacks on various targets, ranging from troop concentrations to enemy air defense sites and airfields. The Iskander-M's capability to strike high-value targets, such as container ships carrying military supplies, underscores its crucial role in Russia's military strategy to disrupt Ukraine's supply chains and infrastructure. Historical analysis indicates that this system has evolved into an increasingly sophisticated threat, incorporating features designed to penetrate modern air defenses and inflict maximum damage without warning. In recent months, particularly in May and June 2025, the Russian Iskander-M missile has made headlines showcasing its terrifying ability to destroy targets in Ukraine. This tactical ballistic missile system, dubbed the Silent Destroyer, has been extensively employed in the conflict, delivering shocking, fearsome, and devastating impacts on Ukrainian infrastructure and military facilities. For instance, on May 23, 2025, Iskander missile crews executed a group strike against a container ship transporting military assets to the port of Odessa. The vessel was reported to be carrying approximately 100 military cargo containers, including naval drones, UAVs, and ammunition. This incident was not isolated. In October 2024, a Panamanian-flagged container ship, Shue Spirit, which was transporting weaponry from the Romanian port of Constanta to Odessa, also fell victim to an Iskander strike. These attacks demonstrate the Iskander M's ability to target vital maritime supplies essential to Ukraine's war efforts, effectively severing crucial logistical routes. Since the onset of full-scale hostilities in Ukraine in February 2022, the Iskander-M system has been heavily relied upon to strike a variety of targets, from troop concentrations to enemy air defense sites and airfields. The increased utilization of this system has been particularly notable since early 2023, coinciding with the expanded production of the 9K720 ballistic missile which has enhanced the supply available to the Russian army. The Iskander-M, with its hypersonic speed and in-flight maneuverability, is designed to evade modern air defense systems. Its operational history includes documented use in the Russo-Georgian War of 2008, where fragmentation from submunitions carried by the Iskander missile was responsible for the death of a Dutch journalist. This highlights the system's lethal precision even in its early years of deployment. The Iskander-M operates with a high degree of sophistication, making it a formidable threat that is exceedingly difficult for Ukrainian air defense systems to intercept. Its primary capability lies in its quasi-ballistic trajectory, meaning that the missile does not follow the predictable parabolic path of traditional ballistic missiles. 
Instead, the Iskander M performs unexpected maneuvers during flight, deploying radar decoys and changing direction suddenly, making it extremely challenging for air defense systems to calculate its trajectory and intercept it. According to Ukrainian Air Force spokesperson Yuri Enut, the upgraded Iskander missiles deploy radar decoys, further complicating the challenge for systems like the Patriot. These decoys mimic multiple targets, confusing air defense radars and reducing the likelihood of successful interception. In addition to advanced maneuverability, the speed of the Iskander M is another key factor in its evasion capabilities. The missile reaches hypersonic speeds, providing an extremely short reaction time for air defense systems. Once launched, the time between detection and impact is minimal, often leaving operators with insufficient warning to react effectively. The Iskander M model is equipped with the 9M723 ballistic missile, which has an official range of up to 500 kilometers, although NATO estimates and expert assessments suggest a range of 700 kilometers or more. The ability to launch missiles from Russian border territories further shortens the flight time to targets in Ukraine, exacerbating interception challenges. Russia's strategy also involves using Iskander missiles to provoke Ukrainian air defense systems, such as the Patriot, into activating their radars. Once the radar emits a signal, the KH-31P missile, likely launched from Russian fighter jets operating at a safe distance, can lock onto that signal, a tactic known as Suppression of Enemy Air Defenses (SEAD). This multi-layered approach, combining speed, maneuverability, decoys, and CAD tactics, makes the Iskander M an exceptionally effective and difficult weapon to counter. While Ukraine claims to have destroyed 11 Iskander missiles in May 2023, both ballistic and cruise variants, these successes often result from combined actions and effective reconnaissance such as strikes against Russian missile launchers in the Bryansk region. However, in general, Ukrainian air defense systems like the Patriot, NASAMS, IRIS-T, and S-300 face significant challenges in intercepting Iskander missiles. The Iskander M missile system represents the pinnacle of modern tactical ballistic missile technology, incorporating advanced features designed for high accuracy and defense penetration. From an educational standpoint, it is essential to understand that the Iskander M is not merely a simple fire-and-forget missile. It is a complex system involving mobile launchers, ballistic missiles, and cruise missiles, which can be tailored for various missions. The Iskander M variant is equipped with the 9M723 and 9M728 ballistic missiles, while the Iskander K uses the R509M729 cruise missile, similar to the caliber. This flexibility allows the Russian military to select the most appropriate missile type for specific targets, enhancing strike effectiveness. From a technological perspective, the guidance system of the Iskander M is highly sophisticated. The missile employs an inertial guidance system augmented with various navigation and guidance aids, such as radar and electro-optical systems. This dual guidance system ensures exceptional accuracy, with reports indicating that the missile can hit targets within a one-meter radius. This capability is crucial for striking high-value targets such as command posts, UAV control points, ammunition depots, and other military equipment. Additionally, the Iskander M can fly along an aeroballistic trajectory, performing unexpected jumps to evade enemy missile defenses. This property, similar to Ukraine's RIM-2 missile, significantly increases the missile's chances of penetrating enemy air defenses.